What's going on everybody? Welcome back again to a brand new tutorial. This is Angelo from Caps on Fire and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up GIMP for sublimation. Okay, so the reason why I like GIMP is mainly two reasons and these, these are the only reasons that I really need to like this program. Okay, it's a hundred percent free and secondly it's pretty much a complete duplication of Adobe Photoshop. So this can do everything that you can do in Adobe Photoshop minus the little $20 or how much ever you're paying per month for this. Okay. So the very first thing we want to do is to click on the subscribe button as I will be uploading more videos on the consistent basis. So to be notified for that, just click subscribe and then you'll be all set. So the very first thing we want to do is to go to GIMP.org. As soon as you get to this site, just click right here where it says download and it'll give you the version number. Just click download. After that, you will want to select whichever program you're using on your computer. So for us, we're using Microsoft Windows. OS is of course for Apple users and then you have Linux users. So once you click on whichever one you need, you go to download and then it'll just go ahead and download straight to your computer. Do not click on this one over here that says via BitTorrent. That's for something else. We just go over here to the orange one that is the direct download from GIMP. After you download it, just go through the whole installation process. And when you're done, you'll have this little icon down here in the corner on your desktop or wherever you chose for it to be. So once we have it downloaded, all we do now is just click on it and it'll go ahead and open up. So once it opened up, the very first thing I advise everybody to do is to go to edit and go down to preferences. As soon as you get here, the very first thing you want to do is go to maximum new image size. Click this button, go to megabytes and you can select either 500, 600, 700, just anything that's bigger than whatever bigger than how can I put it bigger than whatever size you're going to be using for your paper okay for us we're going to be using 13 by 19 inch canvas on here so that image size is going to be relatively big so of course you want to come in here and make sure you change that maximum new image size if you don't change this maximum new image size and you go to these next steps as far as setting up your templates you will receive an error message that will tell you hey you may want to change your preferences on your uh, maximum new image size so for us we're going to go here change this to 500 and press ok next we want to go right here to templates we click on templates and as you can see i already made a super b portrait but I'm gonna show you guys how to make one right now. First, we're gonna come down here to this button that says create new template. We'll click that. And I'll name this a uh, Super B Tutorial. After that, you do have an icon button right here and you can change the picture of the icon that'll be right here on the side, but we're just gonna leave it how it normally is right now. Next up, very important, the width and the height. Before you change these two numbers, we need to come right here to this drop down box for the units and go to inches. Once we do that for the width, we can do 13 inches for the width and height will do 19 inches for the height. After that, of course, we're going to leave it in the uh, portrait mode and not the landscape mode. You come down to advanced options your resolutions need to be the same which are 300 pixels per inch correct color space is uh, rgb color space we don't do cmyk on the computer when it goes to the printer it converts everything from rgb to cmyk but on the computer screens we leave everything at rgb we can leave this the same leave this the same we can leave this the same. Fill with. Instead of background color, we're going to do transparency. Because when we're dealing with sublimation, we want to have transparent backgrounds for our image. So we don't have that boxy look around our image in case we fill the background with black or white or any type of solid color. So we'll just leave this as transparency. 
and then comments you can put created by whatever your name is my name is Angelo so I'm just typing in my name and we go back through double check everything make sure everything is correct that's all fine and we'll just press OK and then that creates a new template for us so after this we don't have to ever come back in here and create a new template whenever we decide to make a new image all we do is when we open it up we just select our template we come down here to this icon which is the create new image from selected template press that and there you go now you have a blank canvas and you are ready for designing so after that I advise you guys to set up your, pr your printer preferences which is something that we'll get into later in the next tutorial but for now you are set up and you are ready to go with designing in GIMP so I hope you guys really like this video if you did please press the like button if you have any comments or any questions at all you can either type it down below in the comment section or you can press the description go down into the description and it'll be a link to our Facebook group where we can help you a whole lot faster through there and you can be able to submit pictures if you need help with anything or stuff like that so you can go either route okay so I want to thank you all for tuning in I'll see you guys in the next video Angelo out Oh, oh, oh.